Well, hello, and how are you? It's me again. Yesterday I made a mistake. I said that it was uh, September the 1st. No, sorry, not September the 1st. It was November the 1st, which makes this... Oh, maybe yesterday I said November. I don't know what day I said. Anyway, this is the second month of the year. Now, for those of you that have the calendar of the United States, that would be February. <laughs> and since how that's what uh this is, this is February 2nd, that would have been made that would have made yesterday February the 1st. Okay, my uh apologies for having your whole day wiped out and you thinking it was and you thinking it was uh November or September whatever day I said um so anyway this is February 2nd 2015 just to let you know it is a different day oh and you notice I am wearing a different shirt cuz I told you yesterday you know that was the second day for that one Today is the first day for this one. Probably see the same thing tomorrow, but that's just, I done explained that. Now, the other day, I, um, yesterday, I did say that I had explained something else to you um, on the autonomic hyperdysreflexia, the situation where my blood pressure was going up. I had not. I went back and looked at my first episode, and my first episode didn't mention it. It was uh, another issue that I had mentioned uh, on one of the ones that didn't quite make it that were too long. So I will now explain that to you. Um, as a quadriplegic spinal cord injury, we suffer from a condition called autonomic hyperdysreflexia. Now that comes from... Uh, that comes from a uh, uh, condition where there is a message trying to get up to your brain from the lower part of your extremities that your uh, body cannot feel. Now, uh, in my case, anywhere from here and down, uh, my body has no contact with because I've when I uh, had my car accident, I broke my, um, I crushed my C3 vertebrae, which is way up high in the back of my neck. Well, that bruised my spinal cord, uh, which left a um, gap in communication. So the case scenario I usually use is, like, if you're getting ready to go uh, on a trip, uh, the first, what's the last thing Mama always said before you get in the car? She always says, don't forget to go to the bathroom. Well, in this case scenario, you forgot. So you jumped in the car, and you hit the highway, and as soon as you hit the highway, about that time, your bladder sends up a message to you, and it sends up a message to your brain via the spinal cord, and it says, hey, you forgot to go pee. And your brain sends back down a message, oh, no, Mama was right. Okay, can you hold out for just a little bit because in two miles there is an exit and they've got a gas station. We'll just stop in and I'll take care of that. And your bladder says, well, okay. I can relax. So about the time you go under the overpass and you're at the exit ramp, all of a sudden your bladder says, hey, shouldn't we be coming up to that uh, exit here in a minute? And your brain says, oh, no, I forgot. Forgot all about you down there. Well, there's an, there's another exit coming up in five miles. It's a rest area. And you know they got a bathroom at the rest area. Can you hold out that long? And your bladder says, well, I guess I can, but uh, I guess I'm going to have to. 
So anyway, whenever you get up to that third mile, then your bladder starts sending that message back up. You know you only got about, what, two miles? Is that right? Two miles before we get to your five-mile rest area. And he starts to remind you. And then that last mile, he's just jumping up and down saying, You're going to go to the bathroom in your pants. You're going to go to the bathroom in your pants. Better pull over. You better make it. Better make that extra mile. Okay, you got a, a half a mile. You got a quarter of a mile. You got a, You better pull off. Here comes your exit. There's your rest area. You better get there. You better get there. You better get there. You better get there. Okay, well, in my case, Seeing how there's a gap in the uh, um, in the uh, information highway there, the message from the bladder goes up to the brain, and it gets blocked at the bruise in my spinal cord. So, the message goes up. It says, "Hey, you forgot to go pee," and it gets to the roadblock, and so. It turns back around and goes back down and says, there ain't really nobody up there paying attention to me. I, I couldn't get through. And so the bladder again sends up the message and it comes back down. No, they really ain't paying attention. We've got to get another message to them a different way. So instead of of me my brain being able to send down that condoling message I get my bladder already pumping and a jumping saying you got to go to the bathroom you better get to the bathroom there's there's problem down here so that problem down there it relates to me in my blood pressure going up autonomic hyperdysreflexia the fight or flight syndrome so now my blood pressure starts to go up. And when my blood pressure starts to go up, I can feel it because I've been uh, used to it for the past 20 years. The, uh, uh, my, my, uh, I'll start getting chills, but I'll be sweating. And then my ears start ringing. And so I know that that blood pressure is creeping up. Now, I've, I'm able to tolerate a fairly high blood pressure. My blood pressure has been as high as 240 over 180. Now, a lot of people are scared of that, uh, which they, they very well should be, um, and is quite high, but I've become accustomed to it. So, that being said, yesterday I kept running into those uh, blood pressure issues, and well, that's where that was. But, and like I said, you know, God's got me on his side. I don't fear these things. I just let it go because I know that I'm covered by the blood. So, therefore, I'm, uh, uh, I don't really have to worry about these things. All right, hold on. Let me, uh, you know, get a little sip. There we go. You know, notice I don't have the uh, Gatorade setting over here again today. I probably ought to get some, but I'm going to have to pause out on this because the uh, person that's going to be getting it for me, I don't necessarily know that uh, they would like to be on uh, camera. So what I'm going to do is I'll pause out. I'll come right back to you. But at that point, you'll notice I do have a straw over there because you know, like I said uh, the other day, I do not want to dehydrate myself by flushing my electrolytes out. Okay, so give me just a second. I'll get right back to you. Voila! Magic! Notice how, that's, notice how that straw ended up right there. Hoo -hoo. I I am quite the magician. Anyway, here, let me get a drink of Gatorade. Uh-oh. Remember yesterday I was having a little trouble. Mm. Orange 
Gatorade. Like I said, that's a good flavor. Okie dokie. Now then, um, I looked at my uh, Facebook there. I hadn't gotten really any feedback. I do have a few people that are uh, um, that are sending my Facebook along or my uh, uh, blog that they are going ahead and, and uh, put my blog on their Facebook, which is a good thing. Uh, I've got a lot of I put a lot of friend requests out. As a matter of fact, I got uh, accused of being a computer. Uh, then they have me uh, have you do those squiggly things. I tell you what, I can't never make no sense out of those squiggly things. And with uh, this particular dragon, naturally speaking, I can't get the letters to work right. It does not want to do the uh, uh, military uh, words, uh, you know, like Alpha, Bravo, Delta, uh, Charlie. Alpha Bravo Charlie Delta uh A B C D E um Echo Foxtrot uh anyway it doesn't want to do all those it wants you to say A B C and D and the problem is it capitalizes the A B C and D and and it splits them up and then sometimes you get, whenever you say C then it goes S E E and it, it's very difficult to do, and then by the time you get it done, the thing says, oh, man, you ran out of time. That one's obsolete. We just changed it to this one, and that's eh, a whole, well, fiasco. There you go. That's another That's another term that I can use rather than the pain in the, that I was going to use. Oh, lordy, lordy. Uh... Oh, you see this little spot right here in my neck? That's from a tracheotomy. Now, whenever I was uh, first injured, they crammed a big old uh, tube in my mouth and down my throat, which uh, my dad told me about, of course. Uh, I was laying in the hospital bed trying to yank that thing out. Like I said, I don't remember anything from uh, about at least an hour prior to the accident till about uh, six to eight days after the accident. I never really told you about the accident much either. Uh, it happened down on Highway 4061 between Warrington and Hawk Point. Uh, there's a uh, church on the corner of a uh, S-curve out there, and I uh, was on my way home from work from uh, Bankley, which is now Holland Corp in uh, Warrenton. It, uh, whenever I got, uh, I, when I was heading home, I worked the night shift, so I was heading home in the morning, and I hit the ice, and I slid into the uh, uh, front end of a Quiver River Electric Company truck and destroyed my car, tore it into three pieces, uh, two of the pieces were still on the highway. There was a third piece out in the field. Uh, I would show you the pictures, but I don't have them uh, out and available. I tried to upload them on Facebook at one point in time, but they wouldn't let me, so uh, you won't be able to see them there either. I don't know why they won't let me, but they just won't, they just won't allow them to come up. Uh, Anyway, uh, after the accident, uh, oh, I was blessed all the way around. Um, and I am going to probably end up having to tell you about that tomorrow because looks like uh, i got about a half a minute to uh, wrap this program up. And I don't really want to, uh, I don't want to tell tell too many things out about me at one time because if I do, well, you know how that's going to be. Uh, it'll all it'll all be uh, said and done. And like I said, we're going to wrap this one up with prayer. Father God, we just thank you for the sunshine out there today. Uh, beautiful day today, and 
we just want to uh, hope that uh, each and every individual who is watching this program is blessed. And they're blessed by the program, and they're, uh, they get closer, with, closer to you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. And that way, we'll check you later, y'all. Have a fine afternoon, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great one, and God bless. Goodbye.